Rear Diffusion is one of, if not the oldest, TV distribution systems by cable, in other words, cable TV, in the UK, if not the world. So Rear Diffusion used cables to distribute analogue TV through VHF sub 10 megahertz to people's homes. Now, I'm going to focus on its presence in Hull because Hull didn't have a TV transmitter at the time nearby, so people kind of relied on the Rediffusion service for their TV. So, Rediffusion used 12 core cable, so quite a lot more cores than your average telephone drop wire, which then obviously resulted in thicker sort of cables, which ran from poles to then sort of people's chimneys, and then sort of typically ran across chimneys down streets. And each house basically takes sort of a parallel spur off the main distribution cable on their roof. So then this cable would then travel into their sort of channel switcher and then later on their TV. So four TV channels were sent over this cable in a 625 line format. And you just need a simple up converter box to view the actual content being sent through the cable. There wasn't any fancy encryption or anything like that, which I believe did lead to some kind of almost fraud of the service. So I have some pictures showing kind of the infrastructure in use. So we've here we've got a manhole cover which says Rediffusion on it. Some of the cabling was run underground. Then there were poles, which obviously would then carry the cable from underground to the rooftops before then the cable would run along the roofs. Now these junction boxes, I don't know what's inside them, but presumably they just take the sort of underground cable and connect it to sort of the above ground overhead cable. So, I mean, then that just, like I said, runs across houses. In some areas they have cabinets as well, which I believe were sort of booster cabinets which are fed by valves. Because this is an analogue signal that is being distributed over sort of straight copper cable, I imagine even at the sort of low frequencies involved here, losses would still be a fairly significant problem so boosters would be necessary in some areas certainly so the cables went from the sort of houses from the distribution cables across the houses to then repeaters often underground then from the repeaters underground again to kiosks before the kiosks would then connect underground to the main aerial system with which the sort of tv channels were received so the system started in the 1930s, I think about 1928, and was running until about the 1980s. So it's only been about 20, 30 years since it was running sort of fully, which means that, as you've seen in these pictures, there are still quite a lot of relics left behind, although sadly it appears to be in variable states of disrepair, as so no one's looked after it in many decades. And certainly though, when this system was in its heyday, I guess a bit of history lesson, things were slightly different. So people didn't, for example, buy TVs, they'd rent them. So, so in effect, you could almost rent your TV with the TV service accompanying it from like a rediffusion shop. And yeah, in those days, sort of higher purchase was very much the kind of thing that everyone did. Now, there are a few websites which have some information about it, which I'll sort of summarise. One is Hack Hull, and there's a special Rediffusion website as well, which I shall link below. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.